These are your Harvard University Top 5 Plays of the Week presented by GEICO. At number five, women's hockey. Less than seven minutes into the opening period, Kristen Della Revere fed the puck to Ann Bloomer in the slot for a Harvard score. The goal was Bloomer's 10th of the season and proved to be the game winner for the Crimson. At number four, men's ice hockey. With Harvard leading 2-1 in the second period at Union, Jack Drury finds defenseman Marshall Rafai with a no-look drop pass and a sophomore rifles home a one-timer for its first career goal to put the Crimson up by two. Rafai's goal was part of a six-goal outburst in the second period for Harvard, the first time in 22 years that Harvard has scored six in a period. At number three, track and field. Minutes after celebrating her own senior night at the Crimson Elite, Maya Miklos led the Crimson placing first in the women's 400-meter dash with a time of 55.11 seconds. Her time not only gave her the first place finish, but it also marked a new personal best, nearly a second faster than her previous best time. At number two, Duncan Rennigan's U and men's fencing. The senior captain and number two men's fencing took to the strip against the NYU Violets. In his third bat of the day and the Crimson up 13-9, Rennigan's U ducked away from his opponent's lunge to score the match-clinching point and secure the Harvard win. Harvard went on to defeat the Violets 17-10. At number one, wrestling. After a near hard takedown by Princeton's Grant Cuomo at 165 pounds, 17th-ranked Philip Canigliaro responded with a reversal to get out of Cuomo's control and put himself up 4-0. Canigliaro went on to win his third straight dual victory and 23rd win of the season. That's it for this week's Top 5 Plays. Check out the Ivy League on ESPN for more live and on-demand content.